I'm Dr. Kathy, the lazy cook. I hate to cook, but love to eat healthfully. And I'm Chef Liz, the crazy cook, and I love to cook. And I like to deep dive into a big fat recipe. That, to me, is a fun afternoon in the kitchen. Yes, well, not for me. So what are we doing today? Bienvenido a Mexico. I love Mexican food. Yes, it's a Mexican fiesta. You're going to make your Mexican fiesta. I'm going to make mine, which of course is going to involve a lot of chopping, so you know how much I love to chop. Well, it's lunchtime and I'm starving, so why don't we have me make my Mexican version. Good idea. Have it for lunch. It's going to take you to dinner time. <laughs> and then we can have your Mexican for dinner. So this is very simple. You know, the Lazy Cook's approach is very few ingredients, very quick and easy. I'll be your sous chef. Would you please? Oh, that'd be. Oh, can you, can you come move in with me? All, <laughs> All right. What we have is plain core tortillas that you buy at the store, a can of fat free refried beans, and you add it on there. Yeah, there's a there you go. Knife. I'm making two of them one for the crazy cook, one for myself. Such a mess. And of course, you can add as much as you like. Um, this is a great source of protein. Those are pinto beans, right? They're, they're refried pinto beans, and you spread those around. And then you simply add some low fat or reduced fat shredded cheese. Certainly, you can use the full fat version, but if you're looking to eat more healthfully, this works just as well. Which you can get in the Mexican blends, too, so it's nice. Or if you want, you can use you know, Cheddar Jack or Monterey. Spread that cheese around a little bit. And this is where my sous chef comes in. Would you please? Pop those in the microwave for about 30 seconds. And in that time, I'm going to make the next step, which is slice the tomato. Whoopsies. The other key part to this is not only having the tomatoes, but lettuce, and you get it pre-shredded. The goal is to have as many vegetables as you possibly can. And we will see in less than two minutes, we're <laughs> going to have a great Mexican lunch. You're chopping. I'm chopping. I should take a picture. I'm chopping. <laughs> and, uh, fresh out of the microwave with the cheese <laughs> melted, mm. we have got our Mexican tortillas. Add some shredded lettuce. The key is shredded first. All the chopped tomatoes that I recently did. And delicious. roll it up. Roll it up. And enjoy. We're going to have lunch. I'm going to add some salsa to mine. It's optional. Because I'm, I'm a salsa. spicy girl. Yeah. I love it without the salsa. It's like eating, you know, Mexican salad. The salsa's good for you. Mm. Lunchtime tacos. Mm, lunchtime. Oh, mine's a little, mine's a little scary. <laughs> scary messy. Well, you put a lot. <laughs> I put too much salsa. <laughs> mm. Easy enough for kids to do. Less than two minutes. Very little mess. I say Olay. Pretty good. Olay. Now, let's see what you're going to do. All right, you ready? Yes. <laughs> now that we've had lunch, and what you didn't see was that Chef Liz ate the entire tortilla. It was good. I can't lie. It was good. Now we're going to find out what Chef Liz is going to do. Huevos Rancheros. I'm going to chop up some ingredients for some fresh salsa. I like chopping. Chop. And then we're going to cook up some black beans on the stove top with some chicken stock and some sweet onions. We're going to toast some tortillas with some cheese in the oven. And we're going to fry up some eggs. And we're going to put it all together. And it's going to be delicious. Okay. Well, that's going to be a really long time. I'm going to leave now. You going out for some tequila, maybe? Well, actually, I'm going to go out and, and do what I'd rather be doing and work on some crafts. In the meantime, I'll be back in time for dinner so we can try your Mexican thing. See you all later. Right. We'll see you in a bit. Hasta luego, baby. Mexican chopping festival which was great fun and now I'm just gonna blend it all into a bowl so I've got my cup and a half of fresh diced tomatoes and about a quarter cup of cilantro quarter cup of green onions an entire jalapeno which I will warn you cut out the seeds and the ribs and do not touch your eyes you'll be very sorry and your head will pop off a um, couple of cloves of garlic and then I'm gonna squeeze a dose of lemon I'm sorry lime and pinch of salt and we're gonna have all those flavors meld and then we're gonna hit the black beans on the oven Next step is to take your corn tortillas. I use four of them, and we're gonna take some of that Mexican blend cheese, and we're just gonna sprinkle some on every tortilla. 
And then what you're going to do, I'll just show you while I rock out the rest of these, is you're going to cover with another tortilla. And we're going to cover this with foil. We're going to stick it in a 375 oven for like mm, five to 10 minutes till the tortillas are warm and the cheese is bubbly. And then we're going to move on to the fried eggs. So my beans are simmering and I think those are pretty good. So I'm going to turn those off. This is called Mexican multitasking is what it is because I got my tortillas in the oven and now I'm just going to crack a couple of eggs into my hot pan here. And I like to fry my eggs in canola oil these days. It's kind of interesting to me. Um, and you can fry these eggs however you like them, over medium, sunny side up. We're going to get those cooked and then we're going to be back and we're going to assemble everything. Back. I Welcome. Walk, Welcome I walk, back. You're I, just in time. Yes, I know. I'm just in time. Oh, I could smell it. I we, walked five miles. I'm already good. We just pulled our tortillas out of the oven with a little tortilla sandwich with some Mexican cheese in the center. And the salsa. Good yeah. stuff. I'm oh, you. I could just eat I'm the salsa. Mm. It's pretty good. So important. You. It's so important. Yeah, this is. You can be crazy and healthy too. That's true. That's true. Mm, you don't have to wait. be lazy to be healthy. No, but you know, if you don't have time or don't enjoy it, this is why you are my friend. <laughs> I'm ready. Mm. So we've got our These lovely avocados, which while they are a fruit that has fat in it, it's a very healthy fat. Very important part of having a well-balanced eating style. There you go. Oh my gosh. And then, and then salsa on top. Absolutely, oh. salsa on top. Ooh. There you go. Oh, thank you. More? Sure. Oh, I love the salsa. She makes fabulous salsa. <laughs> I could just like <laughs> Yeah, and that's good for everything, of course. Yes. Shall so, we? Let's. Oh, we'll try. We'll, we'll try this one. So. It has cheese and fat. Mm. It took you all afternoon, but it is fabulous. I'm the lazy cook, and I'm the crazy cook, making food you love to eat.